Welcome to what is likely the final installment of the Nintendo. Welcome to what's probably the final installment of the Nintendo Labo VR kit. Now, I know what you're thinking. We made the goggles, we made the camera, we made the elephant, we made the bird, we made the wind pedal, we made the blaster. What else is there? Well, we got these little boxes, and we're gonna try to knock them all out tonight. So I have the Toy-Con Pinwheel, the Toy-Con Snorkel, and the Toy-Con, uh, Green Holder. Those are our final three projects for Labo, and if you've got song requests, exclamation point SR in the chat as we go along. Alright, we are going to build ourselves the Toy-Con Pinwheel. It is compatible with the Toy-Con Bird. And I think some other ones. There are three steps we'll need to complete. That's a spinny blades. <laughs> it literally says spinny blades. Making the spinny blades. Alright, we are going to need the plastic bag with the parts inside. Yes, yes, very good. I guess I should have opened the box before the stream. Box, what's wrong? Okay. <laughs> there we go. There's your special parts. Alright, from Pinwheel Sheet A, which is somewhere in here. Aha. I need those four pieces. They're not exceptionally large pieces. But we need that. And we need... This. And this. And this. That dropped one. <laughs> Great start. Alright, when we're finished, the pinwheel will spin around when you blow on it. We'll start with this piece here, which has the two center holes punched out. And it's got these little pieces in the side punched out, so that there is space between each of the petals, let's call them. Flip it over, fold it down the center. Boop. And we're going to need the I Love It the Grommet. First, let me dispose of all the, those little pieces we punched out. Now, uh, we need a gray one, and there is only one left in the bag. Because we used all the others on the main project. So uh, it's kind of hard to miss. Alright, uh, we're gonna go put the grommet underneath first piece. Then we're gonna fold it over. Now it's washer time. Things about the things are about to get snappy. When you snap the washer down, that is. That's a little grommet humor. Yeah, I appreciate the grommet humor. Maybe not quite Wallace and grommet humor, but grommet humor nonetheless. And I'd say, okay, little washer, if I let you snap onto your grommet friend, well, you promised to stay on. Okay, puns. I love puns. There's a pun command in the chat, if you didn't already know. Alright, we need marker stickers. Still have quite a few on this sheet. We'll be using these small squares. 
sticking them onto the blade pieces. Just so you know, we'll be sticking a sticker on the front and back of each. That is six in all. All right, well, you heard them. Peel a sticker. And stick it. So that it lines up at the edge. Right there. Flip it over and put it in the same spot. Right by the indentation. And it's nice that they always give you some visual indicator of where these things need to go. Okay, we're gonna do the same at the second and third. Don't want it coming off, it's got an important job to do. Oh, also they have holes in the middle that you can punch out that I didn't even notice. <laughs> there we go. Get that on nice and carefully. And one more time. Hope people are having a nice, chill start to the weekend. Take down that sticker. Ah, yeah, it's not coming off in a hurry. Uh, I almost forgot the uh, hole again. <laughs> Alright, stick around the front, stick around the back. Alright, we're done with the stickers. Sweet. We'll be bringing all the blades together into one beautiful contraption. It should look something like that. When the first blade is still facing down, fold the little fold line on the thinner end so that it shows a piece of color. Ah, uh, I like that. <laughs> Looks a bit like a fish now. Open its mouth and we'll feed him. Make sure the fish's eye lines up with the dot on the other piece. Let's zoom in and do another important check. Is the head as far in as it will go? Yep. I think. Yeah, it's not going any further than that. <laughs> Alright, repeat. Skip a slot. And then put this in the next one. That's two. And then finally skip one more slot. Hold this guy in half and do it one final time. Guide flow all the way to the last free slot. You know, flow from progressive car insurance. Alright, that should do it. Looks pretty symmetrical to me. Alright, next, remove these three pieces. They're the three remaining spinny blades. I noticed there were some that we weren't punching out. I think we're just going to stick these on without the marker sticker. I believe that's the idea. Is that the IR camera is going to read that there's a marker sticker and then not, and then a marker sticker and then not. To know that the wheel is moving.
All right, so yeah, I just fold it into the fourth fish and stick it in. Fold number five, stick it in. Our last fishy friend is Phil with an F. Now that's looking more like a pinwheel. The spinny blades are finished. Step two, make the connector. Remember this one piece from sheet A, it's a bit tricky to be gentle. Okay. Be gentle, they say. Time with it. Taking my time. Doing my thing about punching the piece. Now it is free. Alright, quite a complicated piece, huh? Follow along and you'll do the trick. Let me punch out all the parts with stripes, because those are not actually part of the piece. Furthermore, there is a rectangular hole, right there, that rectangular hole is the one I'm talking about. Um, there's a hole above the controller icon, and another one on the opposite side. That piece came popping up, huh? Uh, there's a small hole above the Labo logo. There's this little piece that can come out. There is another, I don't want to call it a triangular hole, because it's not really a hole, it's more of an indentation. But there is a small hole next to that. Another triangular indentation down there. And I'm seeing another small hole. And that should do it. Okay, be careful. There are two sticky out tabs in the middle that you mustn't fold. First, we'll be folding along the two lines on either side of the Joy-Con mark. It's going to hold the Joy-Con part. So we're going to lift up the piece. And we're going to fold this over in such a way that the tab also comes up. Like so. And then the same for the other side, which also has that sticky yachty bit. And that might explain why it was a little tricky to fold. I still had parts I didn't punch out. All right, that should be good. Now we flip it over. Print it side down. And we're going to fold along the nine lines. Starting down there. Again, don't fold the little sticky outy tab. Lift the piece up ever so slightly. Next, the diagonal line. Now the next diagonal line. Sort of a zigzag shape for these fold lines here. Now we're going to lift up that whole side and fold this way.
And the piece right next to that. Again, being mindful of the tab. Changing the camera angle might help if you have trouble. Right now there is a small fold here next to the tab hole. And let me think of something else to talk about because right now I'm really just listing off what I'm doing. Uh, but it does say to be nice and firm with our hoops here. And there's even more fold lines over there, starting with another little tab to boot. But the bigger tab to boot, and the smaller tab above that. There we got Senor Diagonal. Boop, boop, boop. All right, time to fold some wings. And then send it down. Don't make sure I make sure neither leg are bent. Oh, that last part. Hold that down. Ah. There's a lot to hold together right now, but I'm assuming this tab goes in that hole. There we go, that's keeping it together. Oh, even better, we can put this next tab in that next hole, and it should be even more stable. Awesome. Stand the piece up like this. Kind of looks, looks like a person doing a handstand. Well, we're gonna add, wrap their arm around and stick their hand all the way into the tab hole on the opposite side. That's a forever hug. And then we're gonna close up this back end. And that's looking all right. Now we're gonna fold that piece down. And just wrap it around. Not sure how I feel about this. I mean, I guess it works. I don't know, that part just felt wrong to do. <laughs> That's the connector. We're gonna stick on the spinny blades. How so? Uh, line them up with the tab sticking off the end. Push the tab through the eyelet so that it's the center of the blade. Ah, okay. Loose enough that it'll spin, yes. Well, time to test this out and blow. Okay. 
I blow, it spins, mission accomplished. And that is the last one. Putting everything together. And we need the safety cap from the VR goggles. Oh! Gently pull out the tab in the center of the cap. Turn the pinwheel around so that the blades are facing down. Connect the pinwheel and the safety cap by the arrows. Aha! Yes, I did hear that click. And there are two holes underneath that little arrow tab where uh, the sticky outy bits are gonna, well, stick out. <laughs> That's done, lay it down. Um, it's gonna tell me to put the, oh, really? Oh god, I'm gonna have to do this multiple times throughout the stream tonight. My setup is not great for reaching the switch. Okay, Joy-Con R goes in the slot at the top, is all it's telling me. So now we have this. And then you would just put that over the VR goggles with the system inside, of course. If you're playing a game, the system would already have to be inside. And now, voila! Voila! Alright, I'll try and show this off a bit more personally. And from the side. Uh, I can't get the right angle. Um... Is that visible? Hold on. Okay, that ought to cover it. <laughs> that it? <laughs> that is it for the Toy-Con pinwheel. I think for the time being, I'll just leave it attached to the safety cap. Okay, that's it for the Toy-Con pinwheel. As you can see, that took less than a half hour. And that's why we're also doing the other optional accessories on tonight's stream. Next up is the Toy-Con snorkel. 
This is an optional accessory for the ocean camera minigame. Though I guess it also works with house camera. Oh jeez, I gotta reorient everything. Ah, uh, that should do. Alright, yes, yes, make the snorkel. Only two steps. Make it and then play with it. Alright, remember to play with the snorkel, you'll need the camera. If you haven't made it already, go back. <laughs> so we're gonna need camera sheet C. Where they put the snorkel part. And we're gonna punch everything out of it. That we hadn't already punched out with the camera. Why isn't this coming off? <laughs> there we go. Left uh, side, right side, uh, right side. Left side. And then the part that actually looks like the face of the snorkel. has the big center piece cut out of it as well as the holes that are around it there's five of those man this piece really bends easily okay uh you'll need these two pieces but hold off. We're gonna need some stickers. Alright, we're gonna use the six big circles. We hadn't used yet, but they are completely optional for this little additional accessory. Fill off one and put it in the hole on the piece with the R on it. Okay, there we go. Now put the other five on the five holes from the face. Okay, any marker stickers left will be used for other builds, or I think at this point, I actually used all of stickers, and what's left on the sheet is extra in case you want to make anything that uses the IR camera. Alright, flip up the little nose panels. Might as well try that on right now. Oh wow, it's actually staying on my face. <laughs> I look ridiculous. Hey, I'm like the high-end fashion model you never knew you needed. Ugh. Oh. This face. 
Well, there goes my career. <laughs> Okay. I uh, fold the bit on the mask with the R on it. Well, well, well. I folded the wrong spot. That's. This is really fragile. Did you know that Miss Wizard is playing Just Dance? Because <laughs> I did. Because the Switch told me. Uh, line up the. Oop. Line up the R's. Okay. Oh, wait. What? I, like, made a triangle. Clearly I missed something. There we go. That's better. You gotta get it through both notches at the same time. Okay. Now the other piece with the R on it. Uh, fold over the flap at the second fold line to make a little tent. Gotcha. And slide it into the other triangle. Then the R's will line up. Oh my god. This might be the stupidest toy con ever. <laughs> Oh my god. Good <laughs> Line up the R's. Open this piece also makes this more stable. And you guys should really see what I am trying to finagle here, because it's nuts. You gotta get such a small triangle into such an other small triangle. In fact, maybe it would just help if I did this in the opposite order. Get the triangle in first. Wait, was that supposed to fold? Oh my god. Get the triangle in first, then line up these notches. I can get that to go, but then... Maybe it helps if I do it the way they're showing it, and I lay this down, and then... Oh my god. Watch the video, guys. It will show you what to do. Level 101, and I basically ignored that. Things are now stuck on the way they should be. 
Okay, follow the left side now. Because we're not quite done yet. Get the long piece with the L on it. And make the same sort of triangular thing. And finally, this guy's very important. Flip him over, print it side down, fold the piece along the two lines to make another tent. Did you notice there was another triangular bit on the left side of the mask? This is where that's going. Okay, but like, honestly, this whole thing that I'm doing right now with this snorkel, it feels so cheap. The rest of Labo feels, like, really well built and put together. This just feels cheap and flimsy. Alright, try it on, Mr. Headman. I mean, yeah, I can wear it. It, it's wearable, I guess, but it is kind of underwhelming. Snorkel done. Now I was gonna show you how to attach it. Well, sort of. I mean, this is basically a two-player mode to the camera, where one person has the camera, the other person wears this snorkel, and then. Uh, you know, when the IR camera from the right Joy-Con sees the marker stickers on my face, it makes something happen in the game. Mm -hmm. It's a totally optional, totally kind of dumb thing. And I am only going to remove the switch from the system right now to finish this set of directions. I'm not actually going to do what it says. Oh my god. Making me take off the joy pack. Just to progress with the directions. Put the right joy con in the camera. Put the left joy con in the camera. We've seen the joy con camera. Then put the VR goggles in the place that they need to go, and that's it. Hello, I had no idea for Twitch name. Thanks for the song request. And welcome to Nintendo Labo VR, which is essentially the finale. I built the rest of this kit on stream, and tonight I'm doing the optional accessories. And I'm wearing one of them right now. <laughs> uh, I've actually only got one left. Depending on how long it takes, I might switch games afterwards, but, uh... Yeah, we are up to the final one. The Toy-Con Screen Holder. Alright, this is another two-step process. Oh boy, I gotta go back and find the goggle sheet A. Uh, that's not it. And that's not it. Is this it? 
No, that's idea sheet A. Aha. Uh -huh. Goggle she day. And punch out those spin bits. This is quite an elongated piece. And then we got this center piece. And that should do it for that sheet. Alright, when you don't want to use VR mode with its 3D visuals, you can use this screen holder instead. So yeah, the Toy-Con uh, Labo VR kit has 2D mode. So if you got younger kids and you don't want them using the VR mode because it's recommended for 7 and up, or if you're just not feeling in the mood for VR, or if you want to try VR but then it makes you motion sick and you're not comfortable continuing with it, plenty of reasons why you might want this 2D option. But, like any other toy con, it's going to start with some fold lines. Four and five. Okay, ah uh, yeah, terrible with the longer folds. Like this one. Boopity boopity boo. Next up is this piece. Lay it face down, crease the two side tabs. Let's attach it to the first piece. Make sure everything's facing the right way. So, big piece printed side down, small piece printed side up, and it looks like we're just going to stick the two side tabs through those holes. Yeah. Lots are weekly, but that's to keep it locked in place better when you eventually do push it through. But it does possibly make the initial push through a little tougher. Not impossible, though. Alright, we there. Now the sponge stickers. We'll be using two, the last two actually, and placing them over those black rectangles. Place the sticker and flatten it without crushing the tab on the other side of the piece. Sticker might get a bit wonky as you flatten it out, that's okay. Okay, so I'm lifting up the piece so that we're not squishing the tab that's sticking out on the other side like they're saying. There we go. And that's it for the sponge stickers. There are no more. <laughs> All right, time to put everything together. And we're gonna stick that tab into that hole. Looks like this is gonna be finished up rather quickly. Now this thin piece that we haven't touched yet, flip them over. We're gonna need to crease the four fold lines. And now it's 
just a matter of getting everything where it needs to go. Oh, okay. So, we put this tab in that hole. Had it the wrong way around. Then we fold this up, fold that down, and kaboom! That'll hold us free. That's actually it. Alright, once again, need to remove the switch from the dock. And slide it on in just like I would with the VR goggles. And the screen holder is ready to roll. Now, the game music might clash a bit with the other music, but. <laughs> Every toy con that we could possibly make. Well, I say that, but I also know that there is like. Also, how do I even attach this to the other toy con? Let me try with the blaster for a second. Alright, so like if I want to play in 2D mode, I take it that I just slide this in in place of the goggles. Is that right? Maybe. I'm honestly not sure. Hmm. I'll need to look into that. But uh, the point is, the option is there. But I just put the oh right, right there. Okay, so there is technically one other thing, but you're not gonna find it in the make menu. You're gonna find it in the discover menu. Now I've read all these topics on my own time. Yes, indeed, I'm a blaster master. Um, which one was it? It's gonna be in one of these. Was it in secret? Oh, you know what? It wasn't even in the blaster menu. It was actually... And the arts and crafts menu. There we go, tidying up the accessories. Blah blah blah, try to be a bit more careful. You can fold up the wind pedal. I knew this. Alright, the VR kit includes some bits and pieces for tidying up. Well, for starters, on Elephant Sheet D, we have a stand for the Toy-Con Elephant. So, now I'm going to dig through my stuff to find Elephant Sheet D.
Okay, did it show me how to fold it? There we go. Take the piece. Punch the hole. Fold, fold. And then watch the magic unfold. And then watch the magic unfold. Aha! Oh shoot. Oh my god. I just had it. <sighs> Let me watch that again. Take the thing. Fold over the two fold lines. I did that. Fold it completely in half and then un... Fold it. Ah, oh. okay, that's how you make it stand up. Voila! I can now put my toy con elephant away while it's standing up. Okay, there's also pieces on blaster sheet eye. There's two of them. You gotta fold all those fold lines towards the center. And then interlock them together to make a stand for the black. Got these two pieces, right? Okay. And we're gonna do that real quick. Hold towards the center. Hold towards the center. Watch out that piece. Fold towards the center, fold the smaller part towards the center, fold towards the center, fold the smaller part towards the center. Bend up these parts and insert the tabs from the opposite piece into the holes on this one. Once you get both tabs and both holes, oh my god, why is this so hard? Once both tabs are in both holes, we make a stand, and now, if I take my blaster, I can put it on this stand. To go there. Okay, it goes on the little pulley part. Which is a little hard to see because it's getting kind of cut off by the camera angle. Wow, I just knocked a bunch of stuff over. This is a great finale. I think. The point is, the blaster is now standing on its own. <laughs> look, right there, that's the stand. I made the stand, and look how it's attached to the part that you pull back. Okay. My goodness. Alright, I'm still going. Sheet idea A and sheet bird A have hangers. 
You can use them on the Toy-Con camera and Toy-Con bird. Uh, I'm not about to make those because I don't have any hooks available in my room to hang them on, but if you want a wall hanging option, they are there. And uh, you know what? I'll let the I'll let the video play out in case. Oh come on! Well, I guess you can see this whole spiel now. Doc, watch where what? Oh dear! Come on, try to be a bit more careful. Don't go blaming me for this, kid. You should know not to leave your toy con lying around. Where else can they go, though? I don't know. I thought they were out of the way over there, but I guess I was wrong. Still looks messy, huh? Uh, you can fold up the Toy-Con wind pedal, but it's not taking up as much space. You just undo that end of the rubber band. Then you lift up that tab and remove the little pieces. Then you can actually stick the rubber band right back on to keep it folded up and to not lose the rubber band. And then they'll show you how to put it back together. Take the rubber band off. Lift up that tab, insert the part that the wind comes from, and reattach the rubber band in the spot where it was. Alright, and then here's the elephant stand that we just made for like the third time. Because I'm an idiot and I just wanted to show you how to hang up your camera and bird, but... Had to go through all this again because I had a wrong button. <laughs> Alright, here's the blaster stand that we just made one more time for you. Again, crease all those fold lines towards the center, and then just get the tabs into the holes. And you can have a blaster stand of your own. Okay, now here's the hangers. So uh, you take them off. You remove them from the sheet, and then all you have to do is fold it in half. And you slide them into the holes that you see on the top of the Toy-Con Birding camera. That's the same hole that the switch vent goes through, so you can't leave it attached all the time. Nor would you want to. <laughs> Alright, what about the pinwheel and snorkel? Well, the pinwheel can actually stand up on its own. Let's put that to the test right now. Wait, I need to remove it from the safety cap first. Okay, now let's put it to the test. Okay, uh, caveat, it has to be on a flat surface. It does not want to stand up on this blanket. But it actually does stand up on its own. If you have, like, a proper flat surface for it. <laughs> it doesn't really look like it would stand up on its own. But, man. And you can attach the snorkel to the elephant. Obviously. Don't all elephants wear snorkels? <laughs> so, there you go. There's the perfectly tidy example of how the toy con can go. Now, uh, I imagine that the hanger would also work on the VR goggles because they have the same vent hole. But you probably don't want to hang those up because that's a really important piece. And uh, you really don't want that dropping. So yeah, they show you a lot of little things in the Discover section, so... That's why you don't want to automatically throw out extra pieces of cardboard. They might end up showing you something in this section that you might want to do. That is officially it for Nintendo Labo VR. At least the building part of it. If I find a way to stream myself playing some of this, 
game show. But uh, until then, or until I decide to go back to some old toy con to decorate them, or whether I continue playing with those through dot gameplay, uh, that's probably going to be it for Nintendo Labo for a little while. Uh, thanks for coming with me on this journey as I built the kit. It's 9.22 my time. So I think I'm going to switch to another game. But that is it for the Nintendo Labo segment. So I'm going to pull an intermission screen while I tidy up a bit. And I'll be back with some sort of game momentarily. Stick around if you're interested. Thank you. 